you were here for. We get to thank God. We get to thank God for what you were here for. We get to thank God. We get to thank God for what you were here for. We get to thank God for what you were here for. So, you, are you, do you know each other? Yes. Eh? Yes. You know each other, isn't it? Yes. yes. What are you doing together? You're preaching, eh? Yes. Eh? So, you are ordained to preach. Uh, or you are just me, I just went to Bible school. I'm not yet ordained. Huh? I just went to Bible school. I'm not yet ordained. But I do minister most of the time. Are you people here? That's why I'm praying for you with love. You need uh, some people who can guide you. You understand? Because if you miss people, that can guide you. You won't guide others. You understand? In the ministry, it's like that. Eh? You hear me? Yes. Bible school must not guarantee you the ministry. Because Bible school does not bring Holy Spirit. You understand? Yes. Mm. I'm, I'm worried about you people. You are still very... How old are you? Hey, I'm 23 now. Yes. Huh? 23. So, yeah. Where do you come from? You are coming from one place? Yeah, from Limbobo. Gian. Where? Guyan. Guyan. Yeah. Yes. Especially Guyan. Guyan, we've got many young people who want to be prophets and pastors. We have a very serious problem in Guyan. Mm. But this place, this thing must, you need someone who can calm you down. Calm you down, show you a way. Don't do this. Otherwise, you are going to have this generation. Yes, sir. You understand? I understand. Uh, okay. There are many people here. You are also preaching. Yes, sir. There are many people who are preaching in the gospel here, Mama. Many people, they love charities. Sometimes we must call people, Mama, who are preaching, even these ones who are trying to preach, even these ones who want to be used by God, so that we guide them. Because otherwise, we are going to, you see, what certain has started. We are going to have a generation, generation that will preach because there's nothing they can do. If there was something to do, they could do it. So we have gener we'll have generation who's not called. So, where are you preaching? In the South Africa. Zitoveni. Huh? Zitoveni. Where? Zitoveni. Bronco Spray. Zitoveni? Yes. Where's your wife? I'm not married. You're not married? Yes, sir. You want to marry? Yes, sir. You want to um, marry? I am engaged. So where is your wife? She's at home. We are going to have a generation here. Mama, we have made a mistake. All of us, we preachers. I will tell you why I say we have made a mistake. We showed you people that to be a man of God, you must have many things. It's a mistake. Apostles die with nothing. We have showed you people that if you are a man of God, you must be rich, you must have this, you must have that. And if you go to all apostles, we are ready to die. Because they have seen Christ. Now we have this generation. So you want to be a prophet? Yes, sir. Huh? Yes. And you call yourself prophet? No. So how do you want to be a prophet now? 
Yes, many people. But you are prophesying people. Yes, Papa, it was. Uh, because I'm seeing you talking with people. My father imparted me. I can't hear. Listen, I'm seeing you talking with people. You say you are seeing what, what, what. Yes, Papa. Huh? Yes, sir. So, how do you see that? I was imparted by my father. Huh? I was imparted. How can you say you are seeing something you're not seeing? Don't, don't you think this thing won't give you a problem in the future? It you will. Can be a How can you say, this, I'm, seeing this, I'm seeing your disease. There's a waste pain. Huh? Yes, sir. That's what you're saying all the time. No, sir. Huh? Uh -uh. You say what? I see what I hear. You say you're hearing? Yes, sir. There was a lady who said there's a waste pain. Uh, you I don't, don't remember? No. Okay, look here. Don't talk about what you can't see. Yes. This will bring attacks. Yes. Who told you that prophets are the ones who are supposed to be rich? You can be rich when you are teaching only the word of God. Yes, sir. I'm just guiding you because there's nobody who can guide you. I'm not seeing anybody who can tell you anything. When you go back, you do your work, you preach, are you hearing me? Yes, sir. Until God shows you something. Yes, sir. Is then you can talk. Come. Many generations here. So you people, you are blessed the way I see you. You are all blessed. Say I'm blessed. In the, In the name of Jesus. Where are those people? I think there are many. How many are you? You are four. Come, all of you here. So, you are all from... Now, stand up. Why are you doing like this? Ah, these boys, they are doing something that I've never seen. Mama, when I say they must come, they all kneel down like a... like Popo. <laughs> so, why are you... All, you are all preaching. Yes. I have a church. Huh? I have a church. Yeah. Can you see? This one is they bring a church. So they are preaching in your church? No. We are from the same father. You are from the same father? Yes. They are my friends. Okay. So you are using one same name? No. Spiritual father, Prophet Musa Baloy. Oh. I know. Uh, you know I know Musa. Yes, Papa. We told you. Yeah, yeah that's why we're here. Huh? Yeah, that's we know. I know Musa. He, he, he said you to come here. Or you came by yourself? We came, we came by, by ourselves. ourselves. When you come here, you told him, you, did you tell him you are coming here? No. no. Huh? No. No, we didn't. So why you are here without telling him? You know I know Musa. Yes, he told we, you. Yeah, yes, yeah we, we know. Yeah? We yes. know that you know. So all of you, you are just coming here without telling your father. Eh? And you have your own church. Yes. So your church is under Pastor Musa? No. Your, your, your own? It's my, yes. Now you want to open church too? You, you want to open church? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Even you? Yeah, not eh? yet. Not yet. Even you, you want to open church? Not yet. But, but you want to open church? Yeah, exactly. I even told him that. Huh? I even told him that. You told Musa? Yeah. And what about you? No. You don't want to open church? Yes. So, follow me. Pastors, this is a problem. How old are you? I'm 25. 23. 25. 23. This is a serious problem. I'm telling you now. We are, we are doomed. I'm telling you. This is a very serious problem. You people who are called here, you people have gone. Listen, 
This is a very serious problem. I'm telling you, Pastor. This is a very serious problem that we have today in South Africa. Put your hands down, don't worry. You people here, please help us. Please. I'm not bringing these boys to shame them. I'm feeling pain. I'm a father. I understand what is ministry. You understand? I understand the pain of the ministry. The challenge. These pastors here, others here are crying. And now, you people here, when you see you can't do anything, you see I didn't pass well at school. Now you want to be a pastor. All of them here, they are trying to prophesy. This one wants to start a church now. In his heart. If you come here and say you are called, go and start a church. You are going to recruit even some people from your father's church. This is a problem we are facing today. How did you start a church? I started with uh, uh, revivals. I used to do revivals. Hmm. How long you started revival? Uh, it was 2014. Which standard were you? Pardon, I don't understand. I mean, at school. I'm done. I'm done with school. Oh, you are done? Yes. You were studying what? When you say you are done? Engineering. I was doing engineering. Where? In Polokwane. In Polokwane. Yes. This was, he was doing Polo engineering. So you could not find a job? <laughs> no. Huh? No. So you could not find a job? He, he, he has done with, with engineering, so he couldn't find a, a job. So he began to say, okay, God has called me. He has done with engineering. After he has done with engineering, he searched for a job. Limpopo, there's no company. And many of our people are not working. From there, he said, no. I'm called. Let me go for crusade there. Fire, 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 fire there. Come to Jesus, come to Jesus. People came to you. When you lay hands, people fall down. When people fall down, you say, yes, I'm anointed. I'm a big man of God now. Carry on. You have studied what? Uh, I, I studied logistics and supply chain management. I have a diploma for it. You have got logistics. You can't find a job. I am currently working as an RT operator. Oh, that's why you don't want to be a pastor now. Uh, I just preach whenever I find the opportunity to preach. Yeah. This one, he studied logistic. Now, because he's working, preaching is part-time to him. When he gets time, he just go out and say, Jesus is Lord, hallelujah. If you don't repent, I've got my job. He goes back to his job. The third one. I'm ended at matric, but now I'm working. This one is working. He told me straight that he doesn't want to start ministry now. He ended up in matric. You know people of matric, because they don't have too much knowledge. They also have fear. This one is having fear. We end up in matric. He doesn't find this one of logistic and the engineer. Oh, I'm still studying. It's my second year. I'm doing law. This one is doing law, but it's tough. It's really tough now. In his studies, no, he wants to leave. If now he can realize he see a vision or two, he will leave and become a prophet. This one. He's ready to be a prophet. This is a very painful thing. I want you people to go and pray for this voice. I'm telling you, let's pray for our youth in South Africa. I want God to humble all of us. God must take our cars, must take our houses, everything, so that we preach the true gospel. We go back to our shakes, I was staying in my shack here. I wished even to go back to my shack 
and tell people that Jesus is Lord. Jesus is faithful. Jesus is what was. Because, you know, today gospel is a joke. Our children now, yeah, they don't know demon. They've never seen a demon. They've never seen a demon or an attack. Because they don't know what to do now. They are here. They never even told their father. If now I say, go on to use it much later, they will go in front of their father and show him where to get off. This is what generation, will, we are doomed in South Africa. And this, listen to this. If South Africa, because already the case has already started, if South Africa, we people, our young people, won't see the humbleness of God to our lives. You see what God is doing now? He's crushing everyone who has been sinning. Now, God is doing that. He will make sure that everyone, everyone, crush everyone to zero. And now, he's teaching these young people who are coming that gospel is not a car, it's not a house, it's not to stand like this on Facebook or show something like this. I have this. Or you have got money, you, you make money like that. So I'm trying to advise my young children. And some people here want to be pastors here. Like you people here. Pastoring is no money. It's no house. It's no farms. It's no business. It's no whatever. Pastoring here, you are called to call people to come to the Lord. This is no pastor. This is a story. This is a joke. This is a joke that now this young man who's 25, my son is, this year will be 26 today. I have not allowed him to preach in my altar. I just allow people to minister, to prophesy gift. Prophesy, look what they did. Because people think that uh, they have to overtake their spiritual fathers. When you're in the church, you don't want to sit down and try to do something to support this man. What you want to do, you are looking, how can you defeat this man to be on top of him? Look at the Christianity today. Look at how many churches. Others is just like a sheep flock vegetation. Another one, you just sit down, you decide the name. When you reach before God, who are you? He says, I don't know you. This is what is happening. Everybody you will see. You, this is just the beginning. I've been telling people, I say, you people, when I was insulted, I say, the truth will come out. And the, the truth is still going to come out. <laughs> we, are, we have not reached to the truth. It is the beginning. The truth here is still going to come out. How God can allow the blood of Jesus to fall for nothing at the generation that God was saving lost their lives in the pretext of we are getting money. And this is what now we have given birth now. Our young people now, no one want to work. No one. Everybody wants to get money. This greediness everywhere. It's what I was teaching you. Everybody now, okay, me. Think about these people in one church. Look what happened to me. I gather all my people who wanted to be prophets. I say, prophesy these people. I saw a joke that day. I just took one of my visitors. I took a man who was there and a wife who was there. They don't know each other. I say, hey, I'm going to test my prophets there. I bring them here. I've seen strange things I've never seen in my life. Young people were prophesied this. I see the wife of this man. The wife, God is telling me that the wife of this, they're doing like this, doing like this, like that. Like you see when somebody like, and then from there, I was shocked. Now, look at our young people now. Even here in church now, people who are crying to be prophets here, there are many. 
Mama, we are in trouble. So now, can you see? Look at my young people. I want to pray for them. But when I pray for them, I want them to go home. To seek God if truly they are called. So that, so that when these challenges that came to me and others, when they come, they will stand. Because there are too much challenges. There's attacks. There's disease. There's problems. There's opposition. They are going to come to everyone, all of you here, you people here. Remember, it's a time of persecution. We are about to face a lot. So you must stand. You can see the pastor, the wife there. We are about to face problems, challenges. When now the government has finished with everyone is coming to you. It's really coming to you. When they finish with everyone who's doing wrong, when the law and enforcement agency deal with everyone, now they will come to you now. And say, you're a pastor? Are you sure? Are you a pastor? Sure. Okay. Show us if you're a pastor. These are the rules. Did you study to be a pastor? Holy Spirit, you speak in tongues. They will clap you. We are busy speaking to And this thing is happening, it will happen because we have sinned against God. We have produced this generation. This is the generation we have produced today. Another one just decide, I want to be a pastor because there's money. If you want, you just say, oh, I want to be a pastor because there's money. This is the generation we have produced. We are the trace setter. Everybody's admiring us today. All these pastors of TV, all of them here, today you are looking up to them. All of us, we are TV, you are also looking at me. Temptation is coming. The trial that everybody, that's what the Bible says, in the last day will face everyone. All of you. Look at our generation. Look at them. If you ask that boy, he's not even married, and there's a problem with that boy. A very serious problem. Because once you are there now, you look around, you want to know which one can you marry now. The girls are everywhere. There's a problem. Lift up your heads. I want to pray for you. You people here, take my words. Take my words. My words is, as I'm praying for you, I'm praying for every one of young men here and young women who want to be used by God. Find out about your calling if it's genuine. If it's genuine. So that, ask this pastor, you must not start a work, you run away tomorrow. Or start a work, you sin against God. You start a work, you try to eat, take money of the people. You start a work, you try to sleep around with ladies. Proposing everyone who's having a yellow bone. You leave these ones who have got white bone. You go to yellow bone. You are, you are in danger. I'm releasing you for your own revelation. Stretch your hand to them. If you're a young person, you are called Put your hands in your head and stand up. If you're young, less than 30. Less than 30. If you know God has called you, stand up. And you take your hand, you put it in your head. As we are praying. Let's pray. As we are praying, if you are watching and you are called, we are praying for your calling. We want revelation so that it will be a journey. In the name of Jesus. Father, give them a spirit of revelation to find out about their callings, to find out about their destinies. I pray for them. Can you pray for them, please? Pray for them. 
I can't hear your prayer. I can't hear your prayer. We have sinned. Really, we have sinned. I feel very bad. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Listen. Our young people, when you leave from here, don't do anything that God didn't tell you not to do. Tell you not to do. Don't do. If God is not telling you to preach, don't preach. If God is not telling you to pray, because according to me, one thing that these young people disappointed me is their father. Does he know they are here? And if their father doesn't know they are here, they want to collect things that will make them to compete their father. So now, when you go back, you submit in 100% to your father. You tell yourself, my father, I want to submit. I want to worship God. It's submission that takes someone up. It's submission. It takes someone up. I saw it about some people here. When you submit under a man of God, God will lift you up. But if you try to fight, 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 you will move for a mind. And devil will stop you. Let us all stand. Congratulations. So, according to me, go to your father and say, I were reprimanded by Apostle Makananisa. He said, we must not go anywhere without telling you. By doing that, the spirit that we have been praying for you for will start to function. Congratulations. So I'm praying. I want us to.